Hello lovelies and welcome back to the Sims 3 miniseries part I want to say 8 I think it's 8 I can't be too sure but um so yeah Casey and Randy as always are awake and Al is sleeping in as always um and she's gonna serve up some hot and sour soup because it's like been raining heavily all frickin day so far like while they were sleeping the thun the lightning actually scared me i thought it was actually raining i was like oh my gosh wait and then it's no it's just it's just the sims scaring the shit out of me like always i swear it's like especially when the lightning strikes down right near where your house is supposed to be and it's like a big clap i mean i know when i would you know play at night and like all my all of the lights are off and i'm completely alone and i'm playing the game and then there's like a big clap of lightning and i like basically jump out of my skin so yeah and um it is spooky day so i think we're going to invite uh throw a feast party invite damien wicker wicker over and please let her be able to move with him because i'm so sick and tired of like just just being denied over and over again and what are you doing mr clean what can you do we can we have like no money and i feel bad because like most of the time i feel like in other lps when i watch them by now they already live in like a big house and and shit i'm just not good at it we have no money still and it's like part eight or whatever <laughs> so yeah i mean we'll get there eventually stop it your girlfriend's cooking you food be happy most guys would be like yeah i'm not gonna make myself anything but sims are so weird they're like oh i see someone cooking on the stove what am i gonna do i'm gonna try and cook on the stove there's logic in that statement and i don't care if it's burnt i don't care if it's disgusting i don't care if it makes you want to throw up you guys are gonna eat it no matter what no matter what you guys are gonna eat it and Al's about to wake up, and I think Al's gonna throw the feast party because Al knows Al knows the most people. She basically knows everyone's um, bosses and stuff like that. And oh, I forgot to tell you to stop playing your guitar. I was like, why doesn't he stop? Because I didn't tell him to. Ugh, I always forget that The Sims is like that, which is weird because I play it so much. And we need an. I just realized we don't have another chair. Oh well, it doesn't matter. She got up anyway, so whatever but yeah so we're gonna have miss al throw a feast party and casey sim please don't make anything catch on fire where's this stew surprise we're not even we're just gonna clean that up because that's disgusting and are there any recipes um that i would want you to serve at the feast party ratatouille mushroom omelet vegetarian chili vegetarian fish and chips um we could serve ratatouille so read that real quick really quickly and and I think um, Randy just had a bit of a problem with the uh, hot and sour soup too and no don't wash all the dishes on the lot you can play more guitar he does nothing but play the guitar I feel so bad he's not that interesting I'm sorry guys but you know whatever we gotta just it's The Sims 4 is coming out soon, and I was stupid enough to start a new Let's Play before The Sims 4 comes out. So, um, it's basically all skill-based gameplay, which hopefully you guys don't mind too much. We're gonna, what? Oh yeah, we got a, uh, invited by Gracie to a costume party, but you know, she turned us, kept turning us down. That It's like, no, we're not gonna do that. Just casual tire. 7 p.m. sounds good. Actually, yeah, 7 p.m. sounds good. Um, friends. Oh, I forgot about Hetty. Oh my god, Hetty's in a relationship. Um, Damien Wicker. We're not gonna invite Haley. Um, it's gonna be a very small get together because we have no freaking room in our house. <laughs> so we're gonna invite four people over. Just close friend, close, close friends. Yes, just close friends. And um, we're gonna need a bigger table. So um. We really gotta clean the house, and so, uh, we're gonna buy a bigger table, obviously, because we're gonna eat, so, um, sell that, and temporarily, hopefully we make all of this back soon, and just get rid of this TV for now. No one uses it. Um, 
yeah, we're not gonna buy an expensive table. We're gonna buy this one from Pets, which is like super cute. And um, I just love the Pets. Um, I don't know, I like vintage looking old stuff. So I feel like it's a nice expansion pack if you like that sort of thing. Um, the Pets don't do much. I don't use them that often. And that's a bit of an expensive thing, but it's a party, so we have the money for it, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah. Um, and I always like to put a little plant in the middle of um, a table. I don't know why, I just feel like it makes it look nicer. I think it just adds a nice touch. So whenever I get bigger tables for my sims, I always put a plant in the middle. So we're going to have Casey Sim. Have you read? No? Have you read it? Oh, she read it! Good. So she can serve up some... Hold on. She can, we can have her serve up some ratatouille, and hopefully she won't burn it this time. Unreal, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You can stay unrootable for the entire thing. So yeah, we're just gonna work on this house. Mr. Clean. Why don't I have you clean, Mr. Clean? Instead of you cleaning. Well, actually, Mr. Clean can't clean because frickin', um... Al is in the shower like I told her to because she smells like shit. She smells disgusting. She smells like a wet arsehole. I mean, if I could imagine what like wet arsehole smells like, it'd probably be something around that, um, the chefs at the- oh, whatever. I always forget to, um, and looks like Mr. Zack is rocking the, uh, food bracelet that we all saw back in, like, whatever part it was. And if Damien- oh my gosh. No, no, I don't care if you smell. No. Get back in here. Get back in here. We're gonna... Get back in here. I don't know where you're going. She broke... Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this sim. I mean, he comes to our party and he drives away. What? No! The whole reason we threw this party was so we could get with you. No, you're coming back over here. You can't just drop food off and be like, Well, I was here! No, that doesn't count. You can't leave us. You can't leave us! Jesus, so we're gonna, um... Oh, she's cooking. And we're gonna try and get Damien over here for this lame-ass party. I don't know where he was going. Because... <laughs> he lives right here. Where no one's home. I don't know where he went. He had probably like an, another party to go to. And he was like, well, her party's gonna be lame. So I'll just drop food off and she won't notice. But we noticed. Alright, come on. If he doesn't come over, I will be super pissed. Well, you know what? He can miss the food. We're just gonna call everyone to eat. And he can miss the food. I just want him to get here. But as his punishment... He's not gonna get no food. Here we go. He's back. Horse! Anyway, um... Double horse. And... Listen to pickup line. What? Don't you dare. That is your roommate's boyfriend. Don't you dare, Al. You got a guy right here who's who's, like, ready to basically do anything you want, and I just realized that the shower is broken, so you know what? No! Stop it! We already got to know her! I... We're gonna sell this shower because we need to woohoo, so we're gonna just sell that and get a new freaking shower because I'm so tired of that shower. We can get this one. This nice, lovely shower. I just gotta make sure how I place it because what's so annoying about this dang pet shower is that like can't be placed the wall what the way they actually do the door it's actually on this side even though the slot thing is facing this way but yeah they can open it so it doesn't matter and um God, that bathroom is disgusting um yeah so we're just going to um call him over we're you already told your guests it was time to eat. Don't be one of those hosts. Ha, huh, that's funny. I've never read that before. Hold on, let me read that with more inflection. Um, 
You already told your guests it was time to eat. Don't be one of those hosts. So yeah, there's a little more inflection for ya. Uh, they're eating. Hetty, what are you wearing? I mean, like, those are sort of, those are pajamas. Jesus. Oh, give an amazing massage. Flirtatious joke. Dude, no, you leave our party. You drop food off, you leave our party. You're not going to eat. That's your punishment. Compliment personality. Compliment your appearance. Who are you booing? Why? Because you're booing your girlfriend. Jesus, what the heck? I like the kitchen's like romance city right now. She's gonna flirt with him. So we're gonna gonna put away these leftovers. Sims are starting to catch on. Yeah, I don't think it matters so much. No one's here that we would actually date. <laughs> and wow, well, Damien didn't even drop off like good something good. He dropped off garlic bread and called it a day and left the party. What the heck? That is so messed up. And we can't. Okay. You know what, Mr. Clean? Put away the leftovers. And I don't know what you can do. You can do something. But basically, Al. Oh, we're not gonna- no, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, not yet anyway, maybe later on. <laughs> maybe I'll like, at, with the last woohoo, I'll like, make sh have her get pregnant as a joke. Like, HA! You were safe all those times, the one time, the last time. What are you doing? Get out of there. Oh, go here. Watch your watch your boyfriend play guitar for everyone at a party. He's one of those guys. He's that guy. The guys who play guitar at parties. Oh, he's accepting. Woohoo number two. Woohoo number two. Guys, we have woohoo number two. It took us like seven, eight parts, but we're there. No, you're not going to, because then you're going to be knocked out of it. Come on. Go. Come on. Get in. Imagine he's, like, he can, apparently, like, technically he can still reject us or something. Like, you know, when he gets in the shower, if we j jump in after him, he can still reject us. But hopefully he won't, if he would get in the shower. Gosh, he's taking ages. Come on! Come on! Go! Jesus, what's your problem? If you use the bathroom, no, don't you dare. You can pee yourself, I don't care. Go play your guitar. Hurry up! Oh my gosh! He's literally just standing in front of the shower like he's nervous about like whether or not he should actually go in there. Oh, I heard something. Someone changed their outfit. It was not him. It was Hetty. No, it wasn't Hetty. It was Zach. And they're just standing there. Okay, well, that's great. He can go to sleep and piss himself. I don't, I don't care, quite honestly. Um, vegetarian chili. She can read more cookbooks. Oh, here they go. Oh, we missed it. No. Evidence. Evidence. Here we go. Here we go. We, we, we got it. We have it. It's happening. Here we go. It's on camera. It's proof. It only took you like three hours. Jeez. I mean, come on. But yeah. So uh, we accomplished that. Now we can. We're gonna ask you to leave. Okay. Leave. There you go. Leave. We 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 did what we wanted. Now leave. Gotcha. It's like. Well, <laughs> he is the w stride of pride. <laughs> is that what it's called? I forget. It came with late night when you would woohoo at someone else's place. You would get, like, the stride of pride. Okay. You can get up now and you can pee. You can use the toilet and be Mr. Clean and clean it first. Actually, no. You don't have time. Just use it. <laughs> he just runs. Thank you! <laughs> Nature calls! Yeah, anyone know that saying? Stuck aging. Everyone's stuck aging, but I wish I cared. I really do. Eh, gosh. 
Casey Sim, go to sleep. Mr. Clean's gonna stay up and clean. Yeah, so, um... Recycle, just do that. And he's hungry, too, which is like... Oh, he could clean out the bad food, so he's just gonna clean the house. And, um... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna... I think, yeah, I'm gonna end this part here, alright? So, uh, we got two for two, now we just gotta get five, so five minus two is just three more, so that's it, and then also we are not that, not close at all to, uh, completing Casey Sims' lifetime wish. I thought that would be easier, but it's actually not. So far, it's, um, pretty dang hard if you ask me how many lifetime rewards she only has 7,000, 6,000, 6,000 so we need to get cracking on uh, stuff like this but yeah so um we only have three more sims for um before Al's lifetime which is complete and then we only have yeah so yeah um, I don't know how long it'll take to defeat complete Casey's lifetime wish but yeah so um that's it for this part. Hope you all enjoyed it. Goodbye, lovelies.